Well, hello and welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today we're asking the question, how valuable is wisdom? I mean, I mean, honestly, does it really make that much of a difference in our lives? And, and to answer that question, we'll look at Proverbs chapter 3, verses 21 to 26. And as you listen to this, just ask yourself, what is God saying through his word about the value of wisdom in your life? Verse 21. My son, and that, that's generic, my son, my daughter, says, My son, do not let wisdom and understanding out of your sight. Preserve sound judgment and discretion. They will be life for you, an adornment to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. When you lie down, your sleep will be sweet. I like the sound of that. Have no fear of sudden disaster or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. In that short passage out of Proverbs chapter 3, you get this incredible picture of what wisdom can do in your life. So listen to a few of these simple ideas and then ask yourself, do I want more wisdom in my life? When you grow in wisdom... You're called to keep your eyes on wisdom. Have you ever noticed that what you're looking at seems to kind of guide where you're going? I mean, your eyes always going to go to the next step you're going to take. And if, they, if you don't do that, if you don't look where you're going to go, you end up falling. And so, so here's the point. Keep your eyes fixed on wisdom. Why? Because it'll guide your steps. Then we're told in verse 21 to preserve wisdom, to use sound judgment. There's a sense of, of this preservation of wisdom. Why? Because wisdom can be eroded from our hearts, from our culture. So preserve it, hold on to it. And then in verse 22, we find out this, that wisdom brings life, real life, overflowing, abundant life. Wisdom leads the kind of life you're longing for. In verse 22, we also see that wisdom brings beauty. There's a sense of this ornament, this adornment that comes from wisdom. So how does wisdom make me look better? Well, it's not talking about a physical ornament. But when people look at you and see wisdom in you, there's an attractiveness to that. In verse 23, we learn that wisdom leads to safety and security. You'll find yourself in a lot less trouble if you walk on the path of wisdom, keeping your eyes fixed on wisdom. Wisdom leads to rest and confidence. Verses 24 and 25 talk about the fact that when you walk in wisdom, you're going to find yourself a more rested person and more confident because you know where to go. And then verse 26, and I want to read this one more time for you. For the Lord will be at your side and will keep your foot from being snared. The protecting presence of God comes into your life when you walk in wisdom. How valuable is wisdom? How important is wisdom? It's, it's as important as your life, a good life, the life that you're longing for. And so here's my encouragement that you would start reading one chapter of the book of Proverbs a day. Do this for about 31 days, and you'll get through the whole book of Proverbs. Whatever day of the week you're watching this, if it's the 13th, start in Proverbs 13. If it's the 1st, start in Proverbs, first, Proverbs 1. And then do one chapter a day. And if you're reading other stuff in the Bible, that's great. Just add this to it, one chapter a day for the next 31 days, and see how you grow in wisdom. Would you join me in prayer? Oh God, so often we pursue things that we think are so important, and they end up really empty and meaningless. But pursuing and seeking after wisdom, it can transform our lives, it can transform the lives of the people around us, and our relationships, it can transform the world. Help us to grow in wisdom, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you and enjoy the rest of your day.